what you see is a wheel with an integrated electrical engine. And this, has, uh, this thing is around already because it's in, uh, the, the, the principle of course is in many uh, electrical bikes and electrical scooters. But this one is made for uh, uh, almost a bus type load and there's many other designs. There's a Dutch design that is also uh, capable of carrying a bus. And then you basically have the drive, uh, uh, the drive mechanism of, of, of the vehicle in the wheel, which is also uh, favorable because then you have a lot of weight in the wheel. And uh, well, you have a brake and suspension in this one, and you can even use it for steering. So this one you basically uh, connect to a frame and then you're done. But there are many examples. And I think this is the way to get to the electric vehicle much quicker than, than let's say, wait for uh, car manufacturers to develop some, some spank uh, banking uh, flashy new hybrid, like the Chevy Volt. Um, and it's far much smarter for, for small uh, workshops small metal companies, small uh, small garages that know a little bit about cars, to take a look in the wheel hub of a regular car, see all the space that is there around the brake uh, disc, and think, you know, I'll just put an electrical engine in there, and I'll design a wheel. I'll design a wheel like, just like this one, and, uh, and I'll just uh, put some magnets on the outside, so you have a brushless engine, put the spools on the inside, some braking, etc., and I make it so that it really can attach to a normal uh, wheel hub or a, a, new, a normal axle. That's completely possible. Uh, and what you get then is that you get a car with all the, all the essentials in there, uh, uh, an engine, a combustion engine that's no longer needed, so you can take it out, you replace it with a battery and, uh, and a, or an ultra capacitor if you want to charge really fast in a, in a matter of seconds. These new uh, ultra capacitors are, are, are brilliant. And presto, you have your electric car. You don't have to wait five years for somebody to develop it. You can have it as soon as you have the wheel. And of course, uh, the wheel is lots cheaper, and everybody can convert their cars into electric. And you just make the wheel. And electrical engines are not expensive, so you make the wheel in such a way that the savings are uh, offset, uh, or the cost offset the savings that you have in fuel because you're now driving electric. That's the way I think uh, you should go, and that's the way if you're a small entrepreneur or workshop in the US or around the world, you should think about this and think, okay, can, in, can I in my country make something like this? Even this model that you're looking at just has an engine here with, of course, some, uh, some uh, gears to tie it to the outside. Uh, and these engines are not expensive, they're very cheap actually. You get them everywhere. So you just put them in the wheel in a, in a frame and the way that you think about it. So basically what you're looking at here is, 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 a, is a, an, a suspension system with integrated engines and then the wheel. You do this, you're, you're being ingenious, you're being an entrepreneur, you're being uh, somebody that makes something new and that, uh, that, uh, that, that takes a shortcut to, uh, to a goal that otherwise is controlled by the industry and has been postponed for many, many years while the industry knew that cars were uh, uh, attributed to, uh, to carbon emissions and eventually to global warming and that was all the mistake of having uh, combustion engines. They knew that and they just uh, you know, slowed down the whole process and the cost and, and they destroyed uh, these electrical cars uh, when they were first developed. All that research was uh, suppressed and now we're in the deep trouble that we're in with global warming. So, uh, and, and, and there's a recession and some people have to see opportunities and take them. Well, I think this is one of the opportunities because it's not hard to make a wheel like this. And if you are in a country where, where the industries are not that, uh, the laws are not that strict yet, so that's not suppressing innovation uh, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a global uh, scale, like, uh, like well, let's say, uh, well, lots of European countries, Eastern European countries, South American countries, Mexico, African countries, Asian, uh, that the way you can still think of an idea, design it, build it, and then try it. And, and if you're not killing yourself outright, then, then it's fine. And of course, you can go through some testing. Of course, this wheel has also been tested. Then do it, you know, just make these things. That's the way. And you can sell the engine and metal and whatever it's in there for, for and, and, and that can also offset the cost of the wheels. So uh, I, hope, uh, I hope this becomes a trend and a way to, to break through the monopolies of the car companies because uh, making wheels with engines is not that difficult.